All right, so guys, this is number seven out of 7.2, and it says to graph the linear equation by finding and plotting the intercepts. So anytime it tells me, and I gotta look for these three, these um, key words right here, by finding and plotting the intercepts, what we're gonna do, we're gonna make a little table, okay? And my table is gonna look like this, X and Y, and one of them I'm gonna put a zero in for X, and the other one I'm gonna put a zero in for Y, okay? And so we're going to basically do like a plug and chug type process. And this is going to be kind of like part A and part B. So here's my equation, negative X plus 5Y equals 10. So I'm actually going to do it over here. Negative X plus 5Y equals 10. And we're making this table right here. And I said this was part A and this was part B. So let's do part A. So in part A, we know that X is 0 and it's gonna be our job to solve for y. So I'm gonna come back to this equation right here and everywhere I have the letter x, I'm gonna plug in the number zero, okay? So remember, if it's a negative x, I can think about it as a negative, oops. I can think about it as a negative one x and I'm plugging in x equals zero, plus five y equals 10. So negative one times zero is zero so I'm left with 5y equals 10. So when I divide both sides by 5, we end up with y is equal to 2. So right over here, I'm going to put the number 2. Okay. Now we're going to do the same thing for part B. So part B, we don't know what the letter x is, but we do know that the letter y is 0 because this right here is my part B. And it's telling me that y is 0. So again, I'm gonna write this as a negative one X plus five Y equals 10, and we're gonna plug in Y equals zero, okay? So five times zero equals 10. Okay, so negative one X, remember five times zero is zero, that piece is gonna go away, it's equal to 10. So when I divide both sides by negative one, we're coming up with X equals a negative 10, right? So I'm gonna come back over here and I'm gonna put a negative 10 right there. Now, these are the points that I wanna plot. I wanna plot the point zero two and I wanna plot the point negative 10 zero. So we can do that, oops, here we go, in our actual problem. So I'm gonna go ahead and click on this right here. I'm gonna click on my line button. And the first point we had was zero and two. So that should be that one right there. The next one was negative 10 and zero right there. And I'm gonna hit save. And then I'm gonna go check my answer. And we got it, okay? So I hope that helps. If y'all got any questions, just let me know.